As you might know, uh, this is Mental Health Awareness Week, and I'd just like to say a few words in, in support of it. Um, I, I could talk about the impact of mental health on the economy or on the workplace, but I'd actually like just to talk about it at a kind of very uh, basic human level. Um, mental health is, something, is not actually not something that people feel comfortable talking about. It's not something that you hear talked about uh, in the office place. Um, but uh, according to estimates, um, anything of two thirds of us would experience uh, about the mental health uh, issues in our lifetime, or another estimate is that um, uh, one in four people will experience uh, mental health in a year. So uh, if you look around you, look at your colleagues, that means probably somebody you can see right now, or indeed you, will experience a mental health issue uh, this year. Um, so I'd just like to kind of make uh, a couple of key messages around that. My first message is um, around there's absolutely no stigma attached to having a mental health uh, issue uh, or problem. Um, nobody should feel embarrassed, uh, awkward, ashamed or any other host of negative uh, feelings or thoughts around having a mental health uh, experience. Um, Life can be great, uh, but at times it can also be bad. And, and in those bad times, um, you may have thoughts, emotions, feelings that um, you, you would be better off without. Um, and um, that's a perfectly natural uh, and normal thing to do. Um, you know, ev everybody needs a little help sometimes. And um, at those particular times, um, it's perfectly normal to have those uh, thoughts. You, you wouldn't feel bad um, if you had um, a broken ankle or you had a bad back or you had a serious physical disease. Therefore, nobody should be embarrassed or feel awkward about having a kind of mental health uh, issue that they need help with. Um, as I or as uh, some of you will know, whether through direct or indirect uh, experience of mental health, the greatest challenge for people is sometimes a sense of isolation. Um, and that in itself is often created by uh, people's feelings, how others may react to them. Uh, so my second message would be to, um, if you are uh, experiencing or feel uh, you may be suffering from any kind of mental health issue, is just to reach out to people. Um, going to sound like one of those quiz shows at the moment, but you know, re reach out to a family member, a friend, a colleague, or one of the many uh, organisations that exist to help uh, people uh, with mental health issues. Um, you will get treated with respect and compassion that you deserve and uh, you will get the support uh, that you need just as if you had a kind of physical uh, health problem. So as I said, to kind of reiterate the second message is just take that step and reach out to people. Next week um, will be the um, one year on from the Manchester Arena bombing um, and so um, with that kind of anniversary um, again that can kind of um, uh, reignite people's thoughts um, and again is a is a time where people may want to reach out uh, to um, friends or, or colleagues or other organizations we will be making uh, additional support available uh, at the end of this week uh, for people along with other initiatives that are taking place across Greater Manchester so again it's for me just kind of reiterate that message that if that particular event does um, kindle or create uh, any kind of feelings or thoughts um, then you know there is support out there uh, for you. Uh, lastly uh, and this is a message to all colleagues um, it's really a, a request to plea uh, to help create the environment um, in which uh, other colleagues and uh, that may have some uh, mental health issues challenges uh, feel comfortable in reaching out um, and getting the support that they need um, and we should really use this week as kind of marking a step change um, to help create in that kind of workplace where uh, people can kind of express um, their concerns and their feelings and get the support that they need.